Hello YouTube! We are here to rule the 12 dimensions through love and suffering with the eternal U-Bell in this phantom nightmare. Now you have a reason to run super polymerization in your U-Bell deck. Starting off, we have phantom nightmare number one, Spirit of U-Bell, the level 10 dark fiend effect monster with zero attack and defense. The first and second effect of this card's name are each usable only once per turn. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summoned, you can take one spell, trap, card from your deck that mentions you, Bell, and either add it to your hand or set it. It cannot be destroyed by battle, and you take no battle, no, no damage from battles involving the card. And if this card is destroyed, you can special summon one of your you, Bell, that is banished or in your hand deck, or graveyard. We also have Geist Grinder Golem. Returning from the Forbidden List in a new form, this level 8 Dark Fiend Effect monster has 3,000 attack and 300 defense, and can only be special summoned once per turn. You can reveal one U-Bell monster in your hand to special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's field, then you can special summon the revealed monster in your hand to your side of the field. Once per turn, during damage calculation, if this card battles a U-Bell monster, your opponent gains 3,000 life points. That would be you. And if you special summon U-Bell while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card to your opponent's field. The Gaisu here, in this card's name, might also be here to use or invoke Injure, Damage, Maim, Harm, Kill, or Gouge, as well as referencing the word Geist, which is German for Ghost slash Spirit. And if you're used to U-Bell cards, you know that in Japanese, they really like to use German. Speaking of forbidden cards getting retrains, Samsara Lotus is now Samsara Regenerating Lotus, the level 1 Dark Fiend effect monster with zero attack and defense. You can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can tribute this card to special summon one U-Bell monster from your deck. Crazy. During your opponent's turn, when a monster effect is activated while you control a U-Bell monster, as a quick effect, you can tribute this card. That effect becomes destroy one U-Bell monster on the field. A little Dark World flavor for you. And during your end phase, if you control U-Bell and this card is in your graveyard, you can take this card and either add it to your hand or special summon it. This card is amazing. Not to be upstaged, U-Bell has a fusion now. The level 12 Dark Fiend effect monster, uh, let's just call it the Eternal Loving Watcher. <laughs> it's very German and I cannot pronounce it and I'm not going to try because I care about the ears of our German listeners. The materials of this fusion are one U-Bell monster and one or more effect monsters on the field. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn and that effect is... If this card is fusion summoned, inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each material used for its summon. It's up to 6,000 damage. It cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects, and you take no battle damage from battles involving this card. And if this card battles an opponent's monster, at the end of the damage step, inflict damage to them equal to that monster's attack. And if you do, banish it. No targeting. Very powerful forms of removal on this. Next, we have Nightmare Pain, the continuous spell card. During your main phase, you can destroy one dark monster in your hand or face up field, and if you do, add one U Bell or one card that mentions it from your deck to your hand. Except Nightmare Pain. You can only use this effect once per turn, and only once that turn. While you control any U-Bell monsters, all monsters your opponent controls must attack those U-Bell monsters if they're able to attack at all. And lastly, your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from battles involving your U-Bell monsters. And as if one spell wasn't enough, card number six, Mature Chronicle, the retrain of Spell Chronicle. You can only use the second effect of Mature Chronicle once per turn. Each time a U-Bell monster or monsters and or a monster or monsters that mention U-Bell is special summoned, place one Chronicle counter on this card. You can remove up to five Chronicle counters from cards you control 
to activate one of these effects. With one counter, you special summon one U-Bell from your graveyard. With two counters, you can add one of your banished cards to your hand, face up or face down. With three counters, you can banish one card from your deck. With four counters, you can destroy one card on the field without targeting it. And with five counters, you can add super polymerization from your deck to your hand. And we thought that adding Judgment Dragon from your deck to your hand was crazy on that one trap like 10 years ago. And last but not least, Eternal Favorite, a favorite trap card. Continuous Trap, once per turn, you can activate one of these effects, but you can only use each of the following effects of Eternal Favorite once per turn. Special Summon one of your U-Bell monsters that is banished or in your graveyard. Neither player can activate cards or effects when it is special summoned. Or, if you control U-Bell, discard one card and send this face-up card from your spell and trap zone to the graveyard to fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from either field as material, including a U-Bell monster. The source, as always, is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Japanese News website, if you like, you can support the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization on our Patreon at patreon.com slash Yu-Gi-Oh! Don't ask how I got it. And this was streamed live on our Twitch at twitch.tv slash Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization. I hope to see you there next time, because there's plenty more Phantom Nightmare news coming your way.